Welcome everybody to episode 76 of Swords and Magic and Stuff. It's been a little while since I played, but we're having a look at some new stuff today. This session opened up with new tutorial available, so I'm just going to have a quick look and see how that appears. Uh, I could be lost. That's okay. Um, uh, favor, job, story, bounty. Okay, nothing there. Reputation, we're doing okay in a few places. Yeah, probably missing a few missions actually. We've been improving our skills to just try and get a few of our skills up a little bit higher. Um, we've got a ways to go with a few though. Collections, ah, that's what I'm looking for. Tutorials. So there was an update 1.4.7 that came out on the 10th of November, or maybe the 9th, it all depends on which time zone you're in. Uh, and basically, just going to turn that music down a little bit. Haha. <laughs> anyway, basically it added tutorial cards. So I think what we're going to do, <laughs> encumbrance with the star. Mm, I wonder why that is there. Anyway, basic movement. Let's get going. You can jump with your space bar. You can roll with your left shift. You can crouch with, I think that's meant to be C. Um... And maybe there might be some more of that tutorial to go in. I think too, uh, what they said was you might need to go back to Castaway Rock to collect all of the tutorials. And that's pretty much what we're going to do this episode. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> encumbrance though, because the game seems to think it's relevant to me. I, I don't know why. Oh dear. In your inventory menu, you'll find a bar. Yep. Once you've exceeded your weight limit, your movement speed will slowly start to diminish all the way down to 50%. Mm-hmm. You can carry an unlimited amount of items with you as long as you don't find mind adventuring at a snail's pace. Luckily, some items can lift the burden of encumbrance like potions of quickness or food, which will increase your movement speed or carry capacity. It's important to note that a stack of 100 stones still only counts as one inventory slot and therefore one weight. Keeping your items stacked can help you save more room. Tailoring, a crafting possession, uh, per possession profession you can pursue can unlock useful items such as backpacks which will grant you additional carry capacity while you have them equipped. Be on the lookout for additional gear like this throughout your journey. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Castaway Rock today. Of course, uh, after I've done my usual change of costume and maybe, <laughs> just maybe, unloaded a few things like you know these medium wooden chests and tiny storage chests which i think we kind of need and the other thing we need is do i have a carpentry thing i know the other thing we need ooh, squirrel is to get dressed into our costume change because i haven't really forgotten it we need some shelves to put some Will you just go inside, Alter? Thank you. We need some shelves to put some stuff on. Where's my carpentry desk? Oh no! Um, interact. So I'm just going to have a quick look at what our shelves required. So a shelf requires oak planks and nails. Do I have a really big shelf? I know. I'm I'm faffing about. Just give me a minute. We do have a really big shelf, which also requires nails and timber. Do, 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 do. I'm just checking the music. It is kind of a bit loud. I might have to turn it down. Fancy shelf. All right. I don't feel like being quite that fancy, but I do think we need some large shelves that I can stack my wooden chests on. So the very first thing we need to do is turn all of my oak wood into oak wood planks which I forgot I need to hold that down for I know, who'd have thought boom and the next one, max I may have to check the sound in the game I think that's kind of sort of really loud you know what we might do some maple wood planks while we're at it I know right maple planks I just want to go and check out all these tutorial cards. Oh, I'm so not distracted. You're distracted. 
Darkwood planks, let's go. I have a feeling I shouldn't have done this, but never mind. Okay. I know, I just... Have I got a maple slingshot in my journal? Do -do -do. Normal slingshot. I'm not seeing it. Oh no, there it is. Maple slingshot. And I guess that would be a darkwood slingshot. I wonder if I can make myself one of those exciting little things. Do -do -do. Oh no, I'm, I'm not looking at um, darkwood slingshot. Okay, not yet. Fine. All right, let's get to it. Let's grab some shelves and we'll place those around. I know, an empty bookshelf. All I want to do is fill it up. It's the author in me. I blame, I blame the author in me. Oh, we also need to get some nails. I know, I have one of these outside. Let's make some nails. Uh, yeah, wrong way, Alter. Up there. There we go. Fine. You know what? <laughs> I know. I'm like, but I want to go and do things. We do. So, um, what I might do then is grab myself a couple of. Well, actually, I might just toddle outside. I know. I, I want to do all the things, and I want to do them all at once. Ooh. I know, what's a little bit of encumbrance between friends? Oops, and I've forgotten to change my clothes. We might stop and do that about now. Okay. Let's just have a quick look in our J for journal. Uh, no, in our I for inventory, because we'll strip out of these. So we're leaving the Shardlands robe behind. The rogue's mask. I need to buy some hats. We might go and, um... I know, we might go and buy a hat from that nice lady in that town. That, you know, whose romance I ruined. Um, yeah. You know, I should probably keep my bandit's mask. Maybe she won't recognize me. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. All right, I have all of these. We've won them all at least once. All right, I might just let her go barefaced for, for a change. We'll pop our Shardlands robe away. Boom. Now, I did buy some new stuff. Uh, fairy costume. You know what? I, I think that might be good. Let's Let's wear that. I know, and if I'm going to have a fairy costume, can I be a vampiric fairy? No, I shall be the masked fairy. There we go. Um, with a wizard's hat. And I, I like the blue one. Because blue. Let's go. Alrighty. I know, my sense of the ridiculous is cutting in. It's not a pretty sight. One fairy gown, one mask, and a wizard's hat. And we'll take a photo of that, you know, when it's daylight. <laughs> oh, I'm not so sure about that. It looks kind of really wrong. Um, yeah, think. Let's plant some seeds. I'm, um, I'm, yeah, no. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Just a fairy going about their watering. I know, right? Man, I love this game. Ah, oh boy. I have done words today. I'm actually recording this session so I can um, I can edit with this in the background so that I'm multitasking my tasks. I have, I have things to publish for next year. I'm kind of excited by that. Well, let's go. Oh, I have butter cheese and stuffs. What is all this junk in here? Man. I know, we're putting all of this stuff back. I probably pulled it all out at the end of last session on the grounds that I was going to craft with it. I'm not sure what to do with Edgar's journal. The pumpkin guts, I'm, I'm hoping it will last until next year and not evaporate on me, because that would be sad. I need all my gemstones out of here. I know, all one of them. Don't judge me, we're fine. Okay, what do I have of these? I think I don't have any of those. No, we're good. Let's toddle over to this one. All right, this is my alchemy ingredients, and I may come back and throw things in there that I need for later. 
on my alchemy, post alchemy ingredients. Yeah, okay. Medium chests. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. No, too much? Okay, I don't love you that much. You're not taking all my stuff. What's wrong with you? I had toadstools. I know, I just want to, I want to throw things in the storage chests and run. And now I'm looking for mushrooms. I'm sure I had them. There they are. In here somewhere. Because I don't want to be carrying all of this stuff when I'm, when I'm journeying. So we'll throw that away. We'll throw that in there. We'll throw the lettuce in there. We'll throw the celery in there. It's looking a lot better. What's in this chest? Aha, uh -huh. my iron ingots for my shelves and my iron ingots for smelting, which I'm going to need to take over to the um, thing. It is so to an official word term, thing. We need to go visit the thing to deal with the things in our backpack. Alrighty, I have meat. I do have meat. There we go. Okay, we're going to put the wolf crest and the lava blooms in the box with the um with these because they you know maybe they'll be useful so i'll throw that in there uh, i'll also throw in okay there's not a lot i can stack in there let's man hey what is that sweet potato doing in there that sweet potato belongs in the thing with the cheese there it is all right see look look we're only 80 out of 80 out of 60. i'll say it fast it won't bother me too much Alrighty, let's grab that while we're at it, because we've only just put a bunch of stuff away and we don't really need to put anything else away, right? I know, taking me forever. Forever. This man who led the valley girl in here. Here we go. Let's throw that in there. And we'll go through the celery in over here. Honestly, it's wrong, 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 wrong. That one. Nope. Sigh. Third time lucky, right? There we go. Okay, I need a wood box. Tiny, medium. Oh yeah. Let's try that trick again. I, right click. Uh, Q, Q to pivot. I know I tried this before and I just don't think I quite got it right. So we're going to pop that there and I'll see if I can highlight it. Because I think I just was doing it wrong before. See, look, now now I've highlighted the one under it. Oops. How high can I stack these things? Okay. Maybe I should stop there. And we'll just see. Yeah, okay. So it's a matter of where you point your little mousey thing. And it clearly is going to take me a little bit of practice to get it right. Uh... And possibly not standing in the fire. All right, we'll start from the top. I'm going to keep the keys on me. I'm going to keep the food on me. I'm going to keep the bandages on me because I know how Alter likes to get into trouble. So it looks like the first thing I'm going to dump out will be my hide. Uh, and that means the next thing I'll dump out will be my cloth and my thread. That gets made into thread, right? I actually probably need a whole box just for thread. But we'll do all of that. Alright, that box is full. Let's go to the top box. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, top box. Let's just work our way down again. We're going to have to sort all of this stuff out again when we get there. Looks like we're doing um, media shards and dust. I don't have the power to um, smelt them yet, so we're just going to have to live with that. Uh, do, do, do. I need put our frost shards in there. We'll put our blue goop in there. Uh, I might just put my augment stones in there as well. And these rocks need to go, so we'll dump those in. Do I have any more rocks apart from between my ears? That's wolf's bite powder. You know what? That actually belongs over here. At that it's even got a spot waiting for it how cool is that i know 
Uh, right, on to stack number two. Okay, what's going in this box? Do 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 do. Things that go make you go boom, huh? Let's let's throw the uh, the blowing up things in there. That sounds pretty good. Uh, I don't have a construction box, so I guess destruction construction. We can we can put all those things together. It makes sense to me. Kinda. Uh, and then I guess I'll throw in I'll throw in the wooden planks because you know de deconstruction. There we go. Nearly full. What is this embouchure? Oh, I know what it's doing in here. That's fine. All right. Uh, I need a. There we go. Okay, we're gonna put some food in this one. We're gonna go with our strawberries, our watermelons, and our pears. Sly. Actually, these are ingredients. Let's put the ingredients in as well. So we'll get those, and those, and those, and those. What's that? That's butter that's got a box. I'm not sure if I should put old bones in there. Ooh, stardust. I might need to put that in there. Why is that not stocked? I stacked, I wonder. I may wonder. Okay, all of these are fine. I'm just going to have to live with that till I can get my skills up. Noodles are a cooking item. Butter has a box of its own. Um, I know you're all going to be yelling at me when I'm stuck for where to put these, aren't you? Um, I know you know I'm thinking it. I'm going to put my medium storage chests in here. They're not an ingredient technically, but they'll be they'll be fine. I should know I won't. That's stupid. Um, all right, I am down into light blues now. Ah, uh, so I guess we'll grab our tiny storage chests and we'll pivot them around the other way. And we'll do it again. I know, you know, you could fence your property in these. I think some people already have, to be honest. Alrighty, let's just go with the crafting materials I can't put anywhere else. Alright, now we're now we're looking healthier. Maybe. Um, I had butter, didn't I? The butter's gotta go. I cannot stack to save myself. Don't look at that too too close. We're going to throw the butter in here because this is where it belongs. And I'm trying not to make too much of a mess of things. Oh, never mind. Let's go into our... I know. I, I Hopefully I can get back into my... There it is. Yes. No. Okay, my gold doesn't fit in that box. Well, that explains why it's not in there then, doesn't it? Let's throw it in here. All right. So I think we're doing pretty well. What's that? A simple gazebo. Which I want to actually put bridging the front door, but I can't because all my chests are in the way. Ooh. Uh, let's just go with these. I like how I can see under my brim now. Thank you. That makes my life so much easier when farming. Okay. What was I doing? I was actually planting my cotton seed. Oh, and now I'm planting my skip seed as well. So skippity doo. Let's get that done. Uh, okay. And we'll go with this one. I forgot this about the wizard's hat. It actually makes it quite hard to work out where you're planning stuff. All right, that's all done. So I just need to put my skips and my strawberries away. The strawberries were in one of the new boxes. Uh, I No, I don't remember which one. Clearly not that one. Uh, I think they were one of the last things I put away. There we go. Uh, and the skips, the skips had a box over here. I am going to put them on shelves because I think maybe shelves will work better. There we go. All right, now we are going to go over to our hitching rail. And I, I think last time, yeah, I was riding feathers. So it looks like I'm riding the Riddler 2021 today. Hmm, this would be interesting. Well, let's go. I whistle up my broom. Haha, <laughs> because everyone should have a broom. We're going to try not to be too distracted. We're actually going to go and see what these tutorial cards are all about. Uh, we're going to try not to interrupt the Scarecrow's day today. There will be other days we can destroy their day, but today, today let's try and be good and just head on over. So, 
One of the changes or the major change was the tutorial cards and I'm a bit excited because this means you guys will have a very different introduction to, to the game to what you see at the beginning of this series. Which is also one of the other reasons, ooh mushrooms, uh, one of the other reasons we're going to, ow okay broom does not fly so good. Can I, where's my fairy? All right, can I just fly over the... <laughs> oh, one day I'm going to do this and something is going to come and eat me. And that's just going to be the, <laughs> the way it is. We're going to porpoise our way. Oh, no, no. Up, up. Ow. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm dead. Man, I worked out how to kill myself on my broom. Where am I going to end up? Can I rise? Rise? Please rise? No? Oh, there I am. Hey, look, I can rise. Oh, man. Where am I? Oh, okay, I think I see a portal over there. You watch, I'll end up going back the wrong way. Where am I? All right, well, eventually I'm going to end up at a... If you die, try returning to an anchor shrine. Really? You don't say. Where am I? Oh good, we made it. I don't think I like my broom anymore. <laughs> I just watered the crab. Let me fix that. No, no, no. Alter. Two. Two means, oh man, what is wrong with you, girl? Oh, you're already equipped. That's what's wrong with you. Okay, I'm sorry. I know. Just don't mind me while I mess up my my game. Oh boy. Let's put the sword down in the quick slot. There we go. Now we're good. All of this because I wanted to destroy a crab. I know, such things. Such things are terrible. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the um, to Castaway Rock, which is where everyone starts their game. Unfortunately, there is no ferry to Castaway Rock. So we're going to take our broom. <laughs> for a fly. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to swim. It might be safer if I swim. Let's do that. Alrighty, are we ready? We could also glide. Gliding is good. You know what? We might glide our way around. I know one day there's going to be something mean and nasty in this water and I'm going to come across it and be very upset. It's still autumn. Look at the vines. They're pretty. I know. Here we go. I still can't believe I murdered myself on my broom. That's just... It's been a while since I did that. I wasn't sure it was still possible. All right, here we are. What I was hoping was that there was another chest spawn in here, but clearly there isn't. So I guess we'll just fly around the edge. And then up in the water again. Okay, how about we try and fly up here? Yes. Now, can I get anywhere? Uh-oh, we're at a dead end again. Um, no. Okay, well, fine. I'll just scoot around the edge of the rock on the grounds that maybe the big nasty chompy things are deeper in the other water. I know, this is Cluck Cluck McCoward coming to you live from Castaway Rock. <laughs> just, re just think all of these little shelves if there is something in the water one day they're going to save your life so you need to know where they are is that the crab where is it I know I shouldn't be picking on the wildlife fine no no we'll go up here well, we'll try and go up here. No, Alter. You're a fairy, for goodness sake. You should know how to do these things by now. Ooh, shortcut. Okay. So I'm thinking dodge roll with left shift, which I keep forgetting how to do. I know, swords are not meant to be used for crabs. And if you're at a lower level with your swordiness, new tutorial discovered. 
Oh, hey, this is what we're here for. So if you go down to here, you'll discover you've got anchor shrines, which you discover by dying. Oh, I love these. These are awesome. Okay, so an anchor shrine is an ancient magical structure used by adventurers throughout Turuwen to return to life after misfortune strikes. <laughs> or they kill themselves while swimming. One of the two. If you happen to die on your adventure, don't worry. You can always return to an anchor shrine as a ghost to be resurrected with full health. If you don't make it to a shrine before the timer runs out, you'll automatically respawn at the shrine nearest where you died. Uh, hmm. While dead, take advantage of your ability to fly to look around for bright beams of light in the distance. These mark the location of anchor, shrine, anchor shrines so you can easily find your way back to one. There is currently no penalty for dying in Swords and Magic other than the time it takes for your ghost timer to run down to travel to the nearest anchor shrine. So use that time to explore nearby places or find new secrets you can return to once you're alive again. Hmm. Currently no penalty. Uh-oh. Later in the game, you can discover other ways to bring you and your friends back from the dead. So keep your eye out for them. Ooh, I will. Dodge rolling. There are many dangers lurking in the world of Tyrwyn. Many of these threats you can avoid with the properly timed dodge roll. Even the strongest enemies can't harm you if you, they can't catch you. Keep on your toes and learn your enemy's attack pattern to survive encounters. Actually, that's really important because um, you won't survive the golem <laughs> if you don't dodge roll. Alrighty, basic combat. Use your main hand weapon with your right mouse button. Uh, in Swords of Magic, you can dual wield any one-handed items or weapons. Feel free to mix and match different types of weapons to create a playstyle unique to yourself. Use your offhand weapon with your left mouse button. When hovering over a weapon in your inventory, you'll see an assortment of stats and information about the weapon. Each weapon has a required level that your skill must meet in order to do the full amount of damage your weapon is capable of. If your weapon skill is only half the level requirement of the weapon, you'll only do half the maximum damage potential of the weapon. To level this skill, you need to only practice that skill. When you defeat an enemy, you'll gain experience based on the difficulty of the enemy. Experience gained is split between all the weapon types used to defeat the enemy. Man, I'm liking these. These are good. Smish. So at the moment, I'm just giving my... Okay, I'll have to start hitting with my dagger hand then. Not that that's much of a disadvantage. You know, I suppose while I'm here, these crabs won't actually kill me if I don't, you know, get to them. Oh, new tutorial discovered. Let's check it. Shields. Shields are useful tools for all manner of warriors and knights. While carrying a shield, you'll take reduced damage based on your shield stats. Holding up your shield with the attack button will protect you from enemy blows. Ah, offhand block with your left. Main hand block with your okay. Um, sorry, by reducing damage by even more. Timing a block perfectly will perform a parry, which reduces all damage taken from the attack. Learning your enemy's attack patterns and practicing parrying can give you a leg up in difficult combat situations. Sigh, does that mean shield has a specific skill? Ooh, we have to check this out. Alrighty, I'm pretty sure I've got some shields lurking about in my collections. We might as well choose the biggest, most fanciest shield we've got. And we'll see if that's a skill. Because I'm thinking maybe later we're going to need this. So we have a deep iron shield. Yeah, look at that. Shield level. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to un uncork that one. And we are going to equip it. Man, I'm going to have to learn a whole new fighting style. Cool. I, I don't think we should be scared, right? So the shield is going to be in my left mouse button and the, the dagger is going to be in my right mouse button. And we're currently at level 22 on that, so we, we're going to be upscaling as we go. Alrighty. Oh, new tutorial discovered? Alright, let's check it out. Two-handed weapons. Alright. The world of Turuwen has many different types of weapons, but none quite as hard as these. Two-handed weapons are excellent for dealing large amounts of damage to clusters of enemies. Two-handed weapons typically have sweeping attacks and can hit multiple enemies in one swing, unlike other melee weapons. Gotcha. Alrighty, let's find us a crab to practice our shielding on. Aha! I, I may have to use it with 
a weaker weapon. Let's let's just see what my weakest weapon is, so that I have a chance of learning how to shield stuff. Hmm. All right, daggers at 22, slingshots at 11, but won't let me shield. Maybe we should have a quick look in our in our equipment and see if we can find a weaker weapon. I mean, I've got these staves. We we could, you know, we we could. We could grab our, our fire staff out wherever it's hiding. Or our ice staff, one of those two. Look at that, standard nevermore. And I don't have any bow levels. Oh no, there's so much to learn. Actually, wait, oh, my axe is level 25. Well, that's not going to help. I have a cotton candy corn dagger. We could, we could do that. No, no, what we want is we want, um, I don't, you know, why don't we go and buy a hook? Okay, maybe not this, this episode. Maybe next episode. We'll buy a hook and we, we'll learn hookiness. Actually, as soon as I make some money. Uh, hmm. All right, where are my staves? Okay. Let's grab this thing. I, I don't even know if it's one or two-handed, actually, now that I think about it. One-handed. Yes, excellent. Right. Let's grab that thing and we'll put it, where is it? Yeah, we're going to try not to die this episode. Or maybe I can kill Ulta more than once. That should be entertaining. Um, okay. So we're going to need to be able to block while we do this. Okay. <coughs> See, I've run out of crabs now. Man, where's my crab gone? Ah, shield, shielding, shielding. Haha! -ha. Oh, nice. How many times will I have to shield to to get before I get the? Yeah, that's it. Before I get the um the shield skill, do you reckon? Oops. Ow! I better watch my health. Okay, so you can't use your shield while... Ow! Stop! Nasty! Alright, in a minute I'm going to just lose my Nana and... Um, man, I'm getting beaten by a crab. I did tell you we'd have to come back to increase our arcane skill, right? There we go. So now we have an arcane skill of level one and I nearly got destroyed by a small crab. Oh dear, 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 dear. What am I going to do with myself? Focus, recovery and luck. Is this a waste of a piece of pear pie? You know what? Maybe not. Let's eat that. And let's have some of this. And I'm, I'm thinking I should possibly reduce my number of bandages. Alrighty. Where's that crab gone? I, th I think we need to definitely practice this shield skill, but I also think maybe I need to take my hat off and um, and possibly get a, a more sensible hat to wear. I know, sensible? Alter? Yes, you better believe it. We can do this thing. Alrighty, what, what's not going to obscure it? We could give her the thief's hood. That's kind of cool. Let's, let's give her a thief's hood. She's not... Ooh. A fairy with a berserker's helmet. Okay, let's do that. It's a berserking fairy, just like we had the berserking beekeeper not so long ago. <laughs> Alrighty, where's a crab to practice this on? Okay. It's actually a lot harder than it looks. Ow! Oh, they got it mad. 
Oops, really mad. Now I got past my shield. Okay, so to practice your shield, you've got to actually upset the crab enough <laughs> that it keeps coming back. <laughs> and I think if you time it, uh, whoops, not like that, but after that first clack of claws too, um, you can gen generally block it. Gen generally? <laughs> oh. Ah, oh. right. So this is me learning. Did you see the tutorial cards are really helpful? Let me just... Oh, I see. And it heals as you do this. Oh, boy. So if you don't keep damaging your, your enemy, um, it's going to come back. Ow. And bite you. <laughs> this is actually quite... Well, you've, it's a sense of timing that uh, that is not as easy to get a hold of as it seems. Oops, and it's healed again. We can fix that. <laughs> I haven't seen the ouch, the notification saying that I've got the um, the skill yet. A definite sense of ow. Give me that. We are doing more damage. Oh, uh, so is it. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, so shield style looks like it, it's actually fairly difficult to master. Uh, <laughs> at least for someone like me. Ow. I have a feeling too my mouse isn't always um, registering <laughs> when I... I know, let's just make the crab mad. Or, or my timing just really sucks. There we go. My timing sucks. There you go. And I... I... <laughs> there we go. I'm not quite sure how much damage you've got to... How your shield levels up. Ow. How you level up your shield. I'm just guessing that this might be how you do it. I'm finding to timing a shield, a shield thing with with the first clack of claws, and then trying to time it for the second. You can tend to get your shield down in time for it to to do it if your timing's not off. I like the way the staff pushes back too, so he doesn't get an automatic hit on you. If you um, if you time it, all right. Let's have a quick look at our skills and see how that worked, or didn't work as the case may be. So, do we have a shield skill yet? So we don't have a shield skill. Hmm. Let's have a look at our shield and see if our shield tells us. No, we are still at shield level zero. Huh. 
Huh, I wonder... I wonder how that levels up. I might have to ask how that works. Alrighty. Now, while we're here, let's continue collecting our tutorial cards. So we've got basic movement, encumbrance, anchor shrines, dodge rolling, camera. Ooh. Alright. The player camera in Swords of Magic is set up as a typical third person view. This is so you have the best possible view of your character and the action that's happening around them. The camera also uses a dynamic system that moves it towards your character whenever solid objects get between your character and the camera. This dynamic camera also shifts to a location over your shoulder whenever you perform an action that requires more accuracy, such as aiming a bow, charging up projectile stuff, planting a seed, or placing furniture in your home. First person mode is T. If you prefer, you can also toggle between first person and third person mode. This mode can be useful when in tight spaces, trying to see something up close and personal, or getting screenshots. Hiding the interface with Alt Z. Now that doesn't work for me because I've got um, uh, G Force, uh, so I have to work that out. But it does work for most people. So hiding the interface with Alt Z. Alt Z. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. You can even toggle the game's interface for those moments you just want to take in the scenery. All right, Alt Z. Okay, yeah, that just brings up my G Force screen. I'm going to have to work out what to do with that. T, however, so uh, you can do this. How's that? I'm, I'm really not used to playing like this. Uh, and it makes me feel a little bit woozy. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to my third person view. Ah, oh, thank you. All right, let's talk to Raina. How's the crafting going? On your way to becoming a Moonstone Smith? Right. Now, this gives me recipes and stuff. We'll just ignore that. That didn't give me another tutorial card? No worries. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Oh, wait, a new tutorial. Well, I didn't expect that to happen. Let's check it out. Currency. Okay. In the world of swords and magic and stuff, gold is the most common currency. The inhabitants of Turin will trade you items in exchange for gold, and you can earn gold by selling items to shopkeepers and vendors. The best way to earn gold in Turin is to do favours for people. They'll often reward you with gold or items, which you can sell if you don't need them. If you pay, play multiplayer, you can share gold with your friends in the form of banknotes. To create a banknote, click to type or drag the displayed gold amount in your inventory to specify an amount you'd like to withdraw. Next, click the gold icon and a banknote with that amount will appear in your inventory. This note can be dropped on the ground for other players or stored in containers. Please right-click right the banknote to deposit it back into your coin purse. Okay, so I don't know if I can try that in single. Some vendors in Turin only accept custom currencies for their wares. Some examples of these are the Witch's Eve tickets or Frostfall festival tickets. Learn more about special... I just jumped out of my skin. Let's try that again. Learn more about special currencies by chatting with the shopkeepers who require them. All right. So that's uh, that's that. Let's see if we can zap up this log. Maybe this will give us another. I know. It's, I'm just getting used to how this thing works. I don't know if this is working. Oh no, it works. Okay. Yes, new tutorial. Let's go. Resources. Crafting can be important, an important part of your adventures. The first step into the world of crafting is collecting various raw resources such as wood or ore. Resources like these can be found all over the world and refined into more advanced resources like planks and ingots. These resources can be used at various crafting stations to create tools, weapons, clothing, furniture, potions and more. Gathering resources is where it all starts. In a pinch, you can use your weapon to break down a log or an ore-filled stone, but doing so will only yield the minimum amount of resources. If you want to harvest resources more efficiently, you should carry a tool with you. A chopping axe or mining pick will give you a chance to critical hook a resource node, which will drop additional resources and give you a chance to find rare items like gems, which can be used in more advanced crafting recipes. Selling your crafted items can be a great way to make additional gold in Tiruin, but it's important to note that selling raw or even refined resources is not a good return on your investment. 
A crafted item will always be worth more than its combined resources alone. Very handy to know. Okay. Let's see if they have something to say about... Ooh, crabs. No, I mean beehives. Haha. -ha. See, we can so level up our staff and live. We just have to use the right thing. All right, let's go find this thing. Ah! Okay, no new tutorial about this, but I think it's a lesson in and of itself. Ah, <laughs> dear. Which tree did I knock that out of? This one, I think. There it is. All right, what about digging up sand? No. Okay, we may have exhausted all the tutorials for now. We'll find out. Where's the crab? Why? Because I want to practice my... Um... There it is. Man, I suck at this shield thing. Yay! I know, I got impatient. I decided to blast it. This should give me a bit more time. Hopefully I don't fry my friend while I'm doing it. Oh no! Haha. I know, I just have to. It's just one of those things you've got to do. It's a pot, it goes smoosh. And it gives me gems. Okay, maybe the crates are another thing we've got to find out about. No? Okay, we found out about those. Tor, maybe the cooking fire. And maybe food. Let's just see what we can find. I know, nickel and dime me my way to level 25 in cooking. That's okay. It's clearly nothing there. Why don't we go down here and see if there's anything new? I know I'm going to get her killed facing off against a big mean crab. Let's um, let's give her some of that. And, I don't know, some more of this. Alrighty. I'll come back for these. We're going to just... Uh-oh. Oh no! Can I parry that? <laughs> I don't think my parry is working. I'll blast it! Ow! Ulta's like, I don't like you anymore, man. I don't think I can parry this thing. I could be wrong. <laughs> it just could be again. My timing sucks. Oh dear. Alright. Oh, tutorial. Yes, reading books can lead to rewards. Let's just open that one up. So this is one of the first adventures you'll find on Tutorial Island or Castaway Rock. So let us just go up here because I don't want to get eaten by a crab straight away. Uh, we might just go into here as well. Oops, that looks like another tutorial. Let's see what we got. Alrighty, into tutorials. Lore. In Swords and Magic and Stuff, lore books in the form of journals, books and more can be found all over. But these books aren't just used to decorate the world. Most readable books in Tiruin are used as clues to lead you to legendary treasure. Pay attention to the clues and search around for the locations, people or items mentioned and you'll likely find a new adventure. And chests. Chests can be found all over Tiruin. Different zones will feature different styles of chests. Some of these chests may require a key of the same type, while others will be unlocked. Chests can contain a wide variety of loot depending on your luck attribute. Luck can be increased using food, drink or potions. 
The higher your luck, the better chances you have of finding rare items. But don't worry, even if you only find boring old bones from a chest, the world randomly spawns chests every morning at 7am, giving you a chance to find treasure all over the world, no matter how many chests you've already opened. While most chests are randomly generated each morning, some chests are unique and will contain special loot and can only be opened once. There you go. Alright. I know, I just heard the, um, the, the door grate shut. Just grab that while we're here. So, I think we found most of the tutorial cards. All right, this this will give us our C, I hope. C for crouch. Sneak around with. Well, let's find out what that is. Basic movement, I think. Yeah. Crouch with. All right. Oh man, if you time your staff in between, you don't need to parry it. That's actually good to know. <laughs> I still love the way it shatters. I know, right? Wow, that was good. I know, I so have to level up this stuff now. I think I think you guys are in for a little bit of uh, boringness as I work this out. Hey, the door's open. Nice work, Alter. You should head through and see what's up there. No worries. If you don't catch up with you, we should meet up in Hope Harbor on Azura Island. I think it's pretty close by. What an adventure already. Well, see you later, Zen. Okay. So... Those are the brand spanking new tutorial cards that will help you learn what's what. Ow, and save you some agony in uh, swords and magic and stuff. Uh, we're just going to go and pick on some more crabs with our staff of fiery bits. Have a quick chat with this lady here. Did you bring me any cool stuff? Nope, sorry. Can I sleep in this? No, I can't. There is no stealing Ash's bed. There you go. I love how this camera works. You sneaky little devil. Well, it's been a while since we we're over here, isn't it? So I'm not quite sure what, why else I had to come over here, except I think I had to level up some of my weapons just so that next time we um, we head out to wherever it is we're going, over to the farmlands, we are a little bit more versatile in what we can do because I'm sure some enemies are going to be a lot more, um, a lot easier to defeat if we have things like, I don't know, Fire, for instance, for ice elementals, or ice for fire elementals, or, you know, that kind of thing. I still don't know how to level up my, my shield. I'm just going to pick on this guy for a little bit. Okay. It could be, maybe it's the amount of damage you defend against. I know. I don't know if I want to do this for too much longer. you turn your back on me ow <laughs> I 
I think I too need to find an inn too, so I can save for being... Oh no, I've got a house, what am I talking about? Alright, let's see if maybe a, a, like a, a bigger attack will help me level this up faster. Here it comes, okay. As soon as I can work out how to make it do the thing. Maybe I need to find a get off my beach crab. Oh, stop it. All right, arcane skill level five. That's usually a little bit more survivable. Let's um, let's just grab ourselves some juice. And uh, maybe a little bit of stone skin because there's nothing like playing fair with the big nasty monsters. And let's pick on this thing over here. Here it comes. Oh, okay. I'm not sure how we go with this. I don't think I can parry it. Fine, I'll just have to kill it before it zaps me. So maybe maybe if it's like a big monster, you can't parry it. We're going to have to practice this parry thing with scarecrows and bandits, I think. Okay. I need to track my staff increase as well. Let's just grab out our basic combat -y things. Um, level 5 for Arcane, wasn't it? So we're tracking this one, I think. Let's see how close we are. Yep. Alright, so your staff is coming under a Arcane level 6. There's got to be another few crabs out here. I'm really glad what one of the things I like about this game is I might slow down to 50% but I still get to pick up all the useful things that I find um, even even when even when I'm actually fairly heavily loaded so that's it's like it's one of my favorite things because it means I'm not having to miss out on something because just because my backpack is abysmally small when I start out. Sometimes you got to get a bit of a lead on these guys. All right, but I'm looking at my timer and it's telling me I've I've gone way over when I, where I should have been, and I should probably bid you guys adieu. But I think first things ah first get off me. I know, gets alter eaten by crabs after drowning her. Wow. Those things are insane. We are nearly leveling up to level 7 with our cane. The trick with your weapons is you just got to live long enough to uh, <laughs> to see the advantage of what you've been doing. Hmm. Should we? Should we? Could we? Well, I don't know. Let's see how many crabs we can irritate in one go. Oh no! You dodgy little monster, get off me.
All right, so the good thing is we're now at a level where we can, haha, where we can take on most of the little crabs. Whoa! hear them they're like coming after me with a vengeance oh no we got stuck in the tree okay Let's just take advantage of this broom thing if we can. I just want to get up to the top here. I know they're still chasing me. Oh, I'm trying to get up on top of a rock. Where'd they go? All right, well, while we're here, I'm thinking <laughs> our poor little character may need some bandages. <laughs> hmm. Who knew? And now we need to go annoy the crabs again. Some mushrooms. All right, so in answer to your question, your arcane skill is not high enough to take on these big crabs yet. Let's go find some more to irritate. I may have to switch to my sword if they're if they're too tough. Uh oh. Go to the side a little bit. <laughs> Alter, crab hunter extraordinaire. No, you missed that one, Alter. What are you doing? Alrighty, that's. Hiding. I think it's hiding. Oops, 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 oops. Not anymore, it's not. That is huge. How? So she's only a little bit dented by crab claws. Very good. Let's um let's pick on that one.
Non, 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 t'as terminé. I know, they are really mad at me. Yes. What? Oh! Man, I thought I had both of them. Okay. All right, I think we've got them all now. I should probably, I should probably um, maybe grab my number four out. Because uh, it's pickaxe and we can get a few things. There we go. Oops, let's try and get up that little slanty bit there. There we go. I know, what am I doing this for? Because I want to go over there. Yes! Haha! -ha. I know, that's exciting because I've never actually managed to do it before. I need to get up onto the um, onto the rock here because I know we'll be driving our ass because I want to try and get over onto that. I don't think I can get over onto that. I think I might have to go over here. No, no, no. no. Oh dear. Um. Right. Well, before I. This is not a good spot to be. You don't say. Man, it's getting smarter. Okay, well seeing as that doesn't work, I want to go, oh no, 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 this is not where I want to be. Ah! Ha ha! <laughs> I know. Oh, that was an oops, wasn't it? So, if you're in the crab cave at 7 a.m., uh, they will the monsters will respawn, <laughs> and you will get some unscheduled um, crab practicing. <laughs> I swear, they're all taking turns. I want to know why I'm not getting roasted crab claws out of these guys. Because I mean, you know, they got to be cooking as you go, right? Ooh. This is because I was trying to get that chest. I'm just glad these things don't jump. Can you imagine jumping crabs? We could be in trouble. I know the other one's over there. Let's just pick up all of our loot, our, our ill-gotten, <laughs> ill-gotten gains. I think what I'll do is I'm going to head for a, a hotel. Um. <laughs> oh man.
I know, picking on the crabs. I shouldn't be. Or I could end the session without saving and then I would start off back at my hotel again, which would be quite good. Except that I haven't bought um, I haven't bought anything from um, I haven't bought a new hat. Actually, I don't have enough money for a new hat, but that's okay. Let's just get this crab. Ow, bad crab. I know, crab's saying, bad adventurer. What are you doing? Alrighty. I know, I'm going to go this way now. We're going to head back to the, um, the shop and the hotel. Man, it's been a while since I've been here, right? I've missed old Azura Island. There's so much stuff I'm flying past too. It's driving me crazy. I know. Looking for pumpkins. There's a rat in here somewhere. Today's mount is brought to you by Broom Zaros. Let's go find some clothes. Oh, wait. You know what? I might stop here. This will work. A fresh start. There's no mail? Nope, there's no mail. Ow. Oh man, we can cook our crab claws. Let's do this. I know, it takes you right back to the beginning. Barely moves the needle now though. 30, 32 big crab claws. Wow. We're going to sell these. We'll do that next session. Alrighty. But I think for now, this is our, our little humble abode in here. We're going to call this session at an end. If you've enjoyed learning about the new tutorial cards and, um, and seeing me, I don't know, try and work out how to use a shield, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And I'll check you later. Take care out there.